Today, Japan and the Philippines have emerged as pivotal geopolitical players on the Asian landscape. They both share strategic concerns amid the escalating tensions triggered by China's rising influence. China, Asia's largest economy, is asserting a formidable presence in contentious regions such as the South China Sea, the Senkaku Islands, and Taiwan. Consequently, the camaraderie between Japan and the Philippines has significantly intensified over the years. As of 2023, under the leadership of President Bongbong Marcos, the Philippines has strengthened its military ties with Japan through fruitful collaborations. A landmark treaty inked by the leaders of both nations has granted Japanese troops enhanced access to Philippine territories. Additionally, they have resolved to continue discussions to further solidify and streamline their military collaborations and operations. These plans include the transfer of Japanese defense technology and equipment to the Philippines and the enhancement of trilateral cooperation with the United States. This burgeoning alliance between the Philippines and Japan is not just extensive, but also profoundly significant. It's a relationship that goes beyond superficial optics and has a rich, decades-long history that merits examination. To comprehend the breadth and depth of this alliance, let's commence with a brief historical overview. To fully grasp the Philippines-Japan military economy, we need to first understand the historical context that shaped this relationship. Decades ago, during the Second World War, Japan and the Philippines were on opposing sides, with the Philippines suffering a harsh Japanese occupation. Fast forward to today, and the picture couldn't be more different. The two countries now maintain a strong and friendly relationship that extends to various fields, including security cooperation. The transition from conflict to cooperation didn't happen overnight. It was the result of diplomatic efforts, economic engagements, and the shared understanding that peace and stability in Asia are beneficial to both nations. In the subsequent years following the Second World War, Japan has played a significant role in the economic development of the Philippines through foreign aid, trade, and investments. Simultaneously, the changing geopolitical scenario in the Asia-Pacific region, particularly the rise of China and related security concerns, has made defense collaboration increasingly relevant for both countries. Japan, being a pacifist nation since the end of World War II, has been gradually increasing its defense capabilities, while the Philippines has been keen on bolstering its defense infrastructure due to territorial disputes in the South China Sea. Now, let's delve into the economic implications of this defense cooperation. Firstly, the Philippines has benefited from Japan's Official Development Assistance ODA, a part of which is allocated for security-related projects. This aids the country's defense sector, in turn promoting employment and technological advancement. Similarly, Japan, known for its advanced technology and high-quality manufacturing, has been providing the Philippines with maritime security equipment like patrol vessels, aircraft, and radar systems. This not only helps enhance the Philippines' defense capabilities, but also contributes to Japan's own economy by creating jobs and stimulating the defense industry. The broader impact on the military economy extends beyond the direct benefits to the defense sectors of the two countries. Increased defense cooperation can lead to enhanced security and stability in the region, which is crucial for economic growth. After all, security is a prerequisite for robust economic activities. Moreover, the defense cooperation between Japan and the Philippines, characterized by joint military exercises, technology transfer, and capacity-building programs, could stimulate research and development, spur innovation, and boost other sectors like education, technology, and manufacturing. For instance, the technologies developed for defense purposes often have civilian applications, contributing to broader economic and social development. To further understand this topic, let us focus on the tangible side of this partnership, which will include the discussion of equipment purchased by the Philippines from Japan over the years. These procurements not only represent the strengthening of defense ties between the two nations, but also reflect Japan's growing role as a supplier of defense equipment in the region. Japan, known for its technological prowess, has been contributing significantly to the modernization of the Philippine Armed Forces. The technology transfer from Japan has helped to upgrade the Philippines' military hardware and thus improve its preparedness for a range of potential threats. One notable example is the procurement of the TC-90 aircraft. 
In 2017, the Philippines leased five TC-90 aircraft from Japan to boost its maritime security capabilities. These planes, equipped with advanced surveillance equipment, have significantly enhanced the Philippines' capacity to monitor its vast maritime territories, particularly in the disputed South China Sea. Furthermore, the Philippines Coast Guard has acquired several multi-role response vessels from Japan. These vessels, known for their durability and versatility, have enhanced the PCG's ability to perform various roles, including maritime search and rescue, marine environment protection, and law enforcement. In addition, the Japanese government has also donated several patrol vehicles and radar systems to the Philippine Coast Guard. This equipment has considerably improved the PCG surveillance and law enforcement capabilities. In fact, the most anticipated arms export made by Japan was only recently. Around late 2020, Japan had signed with the Philippine government a deal which was considered as Japan's first export of a complete defense product. These radar products were stated to be used to monitor Chinese military activity over the South China Sea. These purchases are not merely transactions, they have broad and deep implications. On a direct level, they improve the Philippine military's capabilities and readiness. More capable defense forces mean better deterrence against potential threats, thus enhancing the country's security and stability. On a broader scale, these purchases contribute to the Philippines' economic development by promoting technological transfer and enhancing the domestic defense industry's capabilities. As the country incorporates more advanced technology into its defense apparatus, local industries are incentivized to improve their technological competence, which could lead to innovation and job creation. Moreover, these procurements also contribute to Japan's economy by boosting its defense industry. As Japan transitions from a strictly pacifist nation to one taking a more proactive role in regional security, its defense industry stands to gain from increased exports. Now, let's dive deeper into the defense cooperation between the Philippines and Japan, arguably the most important aspect of today's video. In recent years, the defense relationship between these two countries has strengthened significantly, with Japan increasingly involved in the Philippine security landscape. This cooperation extends beyond the purchasing of equipment to areas such as joint training exercises, capacity building initiatives, and information sharing, among others. Joint military exercises are a cornerstone of this defense cooperation. These exercises aim to enhance interoperability, build mutual understanding, and foster camaraderie among the military personnel of the two nations. For instance, the Philippines and Japan have conducted joint maritime exercises, which help in improving coordination, communication, and tactical proficiency in naval operations. It was also noted that Japanese fighter jets had touched down in the Philippines since the Second World War, which earmarked Alliance deeper defense collaboration. Current President Marcos has also touted several measures to boost defense relations with Japan. Some of the key treaties that were signed or in the process was the VFA Defense Pact, which may possibly bring Japanese troops to the Philippine Islands. Another important measure was joint sea drills with Japan and Australia, which was reported to be done in the South China Sea. Moreover, Japan has also provided capacity-building assistance to the Philippine military. This includes training in disaster relief operations, search and rescue missions, and humanitarian aid provision. Such training is crucial for a country like the Philippines, which is vulnerable to natural disasters due to its geographical location. While the benefits of defense cooperation between the Philippines and Japan are numerous and substantial, it's equally important to acknowledge and address the potential challenges and drawbacks that could arise. This ensures a holistic understanding of the situation and paves the way for proactive planning and problem-solving. Firstly, the escalation of defense ties could potentially exacerbate regional tensions, particularly with China. The intensification of security cooperation may be seen as a provocative move, potentially leading to an unintended arms race in the region. Secondly, there's the issue of technological and operational compatibility. The transfer and integration of Japanese defense technology into the Philippines' military system will require significant time, effort, and resources. It also necessitates comprehensive training and familiarization for the military personnel handling these equipment and technologies. 
Lastly, increased reliance on foreign aid and equipment may hinder the development of a self-reliant domestic defense industry in the Philippines. It's crucial that the Philippines strike a balance between procuring foreign equipment and fostering its indigenous defense capabilities to avoid overdependence. Addressing these challenges calls for careful diplomacy, strategic planning, and a commitment to open, constructive dialogue. With these in place, the Philippines and Japan can maximize the benefits of their defense cooperation while mitigating potential risks and drawbacks. In conclusion, the defense cooperation between the Philippines and Japan goes beyond just equipment purchases. It encompasses a range of activities that collectively strengthen the defense capabilities of the Philippines and enhance its security landscape. As both countries continue to deepen their defense ties, we can expect this cooperation to have even more significant implications for the Philippines and the broader region. But anyway, do let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.